One of the biggest misunderstandings about managing rangeland, most people in many environmental groups have blamed cattle as the problem for the degradation of our landscape. That's not the case. Actually, we need these giant herbivores. The biggest problem for the degradation of our landscape has been the mismanagement of the animal. It's not the cow's fault. It is the problem of the human. Didn't understand how nature works. Did not have in their premise, in their thought process, that they need to move the animals like buffalo, that we need to mimic nature. My name is Kim Barman, and I'm with the CS Cattle Company slash CS Ranch out of Cimarron, New Mexico. My name is Alejandro Carrillo. I do ranch in the Chihuahua Desert on the Mexican side in Chihuahua, Mexico. My name is uh, James Skeet. I'm with the Diné tribe, the Navajo Nation. I have a farm uh, just south of Gallup, a place called Vanderwagen, called Spirit Farm. Uh, we are a demonstration farm. Uh, we work under the nonprofit organization called Covenant Pathways. I actually have been an advocate of regenerative ag, holistic management. There's a lot of buzzwords now, but I've actually been an advocate since the middle 80s. I've been traveling across New Mexico, pretty much from El Paso, Texas, all the way to Raton and even all the way to Colorado. What we call normal now of these areas of bare ground and whether it be cactus or other type of shrubs or, you know, mesquite, etc., cetera, is, is probably not what this landscape was two to 300 years ago. Well, in the 20s and 30s, um, the Navajos used to use a lot of churro sheep and they would go from summer camp to winter camp. And in that disturbance of the soil, created some of the tallest grasses that, that was in, in, in our area. This area was covered with this just tall grasses, beautiful grasslands maintained by the bison and the, and the antelope and all these animals that were uh, working the soil. So they were mimicking a lot of what the buffaloes and the wolves did in that symbiotic relationship. Based on our experience and on what we had been able to do uh, back there in Chihuahua, Mexico, we can turn it back. We can definitely get, get the grasslands, the grasslands that used to be here back. We started by putting in fences, amalgamating our herds. By working the land hard and then providing long rest periods, we allow the succession of better perennial grasses. Or even if you don't have anything, if you just have bare ground, then now you have the ability to grow some weeds and then annuals and then perennial grasses. The bigger herds, you know, really helped with um, starting a lot. We've seen a lot of new species of grasses that came up. They, all of our rivers started rapidly healing within a three to four year period. So a lot of the way they farm was really um, a part of the cosmology in our indigenous ways, which is really understanding how to mimic mother nature, how to, how to see the patterns in, in the environment and then taking it forward to, to make sure that the community is sustained. Um, so it's really a deep relationship. When you build these grasslands, you're building a home for all living organisms. It's not only cattle, but it's all the wildlife. It's the organisms above and below the soil. This is vitally important for not only the, the soils, but for the continuing generations of our ranch. We are affecting climate change, we're affecting the water cycle, we're building home for many creatures. And I, I say we have so much more we need to be doing. Conservationists uh, get a lot of benefit from, from, from ranchers uh, restoring these grasslands. And I hear the word mimicking mother nature or mimicking uh, nature. Indigenous people know how to do that, and they really specialize eons after eons. It's just that we have not been given the, the platform or the place to speak some of these things. I think the biggest challenge is in our minds. Um, we have to open our minds and probably let some old ideas go in order to, to get the new ideas coming. Uh, all this regeneration uh, taking place, regenerative ranching, holistic management, that takes a different approach of seeing things. So first of all is understanding, uh, getting educated and understanding the natural cycles. Now, once we understand the importance of the souls and how we can change that, then we can start making some changes. 
but the major obstacle is in between our ears.